Have you been on camera since you've had your hair done? Hmm. Some of the times. Oh yeah. Do you not watch our content? You're wearing a beanie. I forgot. Because I'm embarrassed. <laughs>
kicking ass and taking names as rank one in the good faction, you will then team up with whoever is at the bottom of the good faction. So you will be helping each other out. This is a team event. Yeah. So you will be helping those who are perhaps not as tactfully, uh, kind of uh, tactically we'll mindful. We we'll call them fluff gamers. Fluff gamers, such as us. <laughs> um, so that'll be a cool way of kind of ensuring that um, people have put some good games and some good fun and learn some things and all that kind of stuff. Totally, yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's a ranked. It's a ranked event, so it's going to contribute to the NZHL um, rankings. But, uh, like almost all events in this country we're just here to roll dice with mates and have some fun and yeah. I think that um, putting us together in teams and putting players together for the doubles game is going to be a really nice um, experience for everyone I think you know? yeah. get to play with somebody you probably wouldn't have played with um, you know learn something about each other um, definitely keeps you on your toes definitely keeps you on your toes um, yeah that'd be cool that'd be cool and uh, it's just a nice experience and kind of, yeah, as you said, getting to play with people you don't normally play with. Um, one of the other things we're introducing for it as well is a draft system. And this is something that Sloan and I have been over quite a lot, trying to organise how this will work. Um, originally, I had the idea of having a hero-specific draft, which would have been kind of choosing which heroes you want just to ensure they were unique. Um, we kind of went through it a lot and had quite a lot of back and forth about how that would work, and it... it kind of fell up a bit short in a number of scenarios yeah. so what Some we've kind of came up. Yeah, yeah we kind of found more issues with it than benefits so what we have come up with is probably going to be quite uh, controversial could be could be is we're going to have a faction draft so the faction draft when you sign up when you register you will register and nominate either good or evil and you will then be assigned a registration position. We'll be holding a live stream draft on a predetermined date. Uh, and basically how it's going to work is you will then choose which faction you are playing. Factions will be independent. Uh, factions will also include, uh, what are they called, legendary legions as well. Yeah. Um, well, that'll be an option as opposed to a faction. Yes. So, so instead of choosing... Um, Gondor, you could choose Black Gate Opens, and that'll be your faction. Yeah, the you know, Return of the King, and, and all just, that kind of stuff. And your army list will be from what you can pick from that yep. legion. So, <laughs> it'll kind of promote a lot of unusual things coming. It'll promote a lot of... Uh, I don't know, I think we're just going to see... Yeah, we're going to see a lot of different armies than we're used to seeing. Yeah, so. I mean, you know, it's. I think we've all kind of experienced that, like, Gilgalad versus Gilgalad match up or you know or a weekend of only playing Gondor armies yeah you could just play Boromir after Faramir after Boromir Borofara Borofara Mir Mir Faraboza Faraboza I like it Bozomir Bozomir so the faction draft will be in play yeah. um, it does just mean that your army's gonna be unique and that's pretty mm -hmm. cool and it yeah, I just think it's another thing that sets it apart and makes it a bit of a different tournament from what you usually see. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other things as well... Yeah, sure. I mean, the doubles game, there was something um, we were talking about and um, we think we might even adapt this for the singles games as well as uh, some bespoke scenarios. Yes. Um, so Tom and I are both Age of Sigma players as well and there's a lot of really cool um, kind of engagements and narrative scenarios that they put in the battle tomes and stuff like that um, that we think could carry over really nicely into Middle Earth as well. Um, they won't be so far from what you're used to, but it'll just be um, something a little bit more unique and memorable for the for the tournament. Yeah, it's just just something a bit different, and mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's kind of nice to We've got enough time to balance these things and yeah. make sure they work. And it's nice to play different things every once in a while. It's only so many times you can play capture and control without losing your mind, you know. So. Yeah, and 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 um, something that's popped up is you know like there's no there's no doubt that Mordor is probably a stronger list than Serpent Horde, but you know we've got an opportunity to write some scenarios that maybe not just that might just not favour the one army over and over again like you always see the same you know uh, event scenarios that really favour certain lists all the time and so you know I think you know we've got a good opportunity to create something really balanced here with what yeah. we're creating. Yeah, it'll be a unique experience. And That's for sure. 
We will ensure it is. It could only be unique with us running it. 100%. <laughs> uh, and one of the big things that I did want to mention, which I have discussed with Sloan before, um, and kind of forgot to mention prior to recording this video, is that this will be a charity event as well. Um, what? <laughs> uh, Absolutely. I, I have mentioned before um, my passion for kind of mental health awareness in New Zealand. Um, and I have spoken to uh, the New Zealand Hobbit League coordinators and got the all clear with this. Um, a large percentage of the uh, entry fee and a few other kind of things that we'll be running over the weekend will be contributed and donated to the Mental Health Foundation in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, and like I've got other videos talking about this, but um, I think it's something we're both pretty passionate about is kind yeah. of being open and communicative with this kind of stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a community. Yeah. And um, openness and inclusiveness and everything is all part of this. It's not just about dice. It's not just about yeah. competing and stuff. Yeah. We're all coming together for a couple of days. We're all good friends. This is something we're all so passionate about. Mm. And um, you know, I think opening up those doors for people is just as important. Yeah, hundred percent. And like, that's why it's so nice to have Team Good and Team Evil. Like, you are working together and cooperating and collaborating, and yeah. it's a good opportunity for kind of to do some good in the hobby community. Um, we will be releasing details about how the charity function will work on that side. Mm. Um, Looking at things like raffles and raffles. We're going to do some hobby amnesty and stuff like that, and yeah, all um, that kind of things. But um, there still will be trophies and all that kind of stuff. So there still will be. Uh, incentives to come beyond just you know getting to hang out with us for a while mm -hmm. so I don't think we really need to say too much else we'll be getting a pack out fairly soon I would say we'll kind of sit down even if it's just a version one while we kind of nut out the rest of it yeah for sure I mean there's gonna be some testing and stuff but what we'll probably do is we'll send out a pack with the overview and then we'll probably do a pack closer to the time with the details on scenarios and stuff like that after we've had a chance to kind of play around with them and yeah um, so yeah there'll be like a pack and then a sub pack sub pack sweet and, and probably all of it i'm super excited i know Sloane is as well we have got the venue all sorted which was the major stress for me it's very hard to find one of those in wellington you yeah. got it yeah this is what i do i kind of you know i'm supposed to work i just look at hobby stuff <laughs> that's okay um <laughs> so boss doesn't watch this. <laughs> we're fairly safe <laughs> so we hope you can join us um keep an eye out for a registration date as it will be important you want to get in first um, is there anything else you want to say? Um, Team Evil's gonna win. Team Evil's gonna is not gonna win. <laughs> this is the kind of top level bants you can expect from your team captains. Yeah, I am s super good at banter. Mad lad. That's what they used to call me in high school. The mad, mad lad. lad. Mad dog. Sloan. Sloan. Mad dog. Doherty. Oh. Is that what they called you? <laughs> no, they actually just call me the beast because I get I'd get naked in class. And you're all blue, <laughs> furry. <laughs> yeah, all I right. was really furry, as you can probably tell. Please remain clothed. <laughs> no, Tom, I will not remain clothed. <laughs> you do you. Oh, this is how I got the nickname. Mm -hmm. We're back, guys. <laughs> all right. No, we're excited. It's gonna be great. It is gonna be great. Leave Please comments, come. uh, uh, any suggestions, yeah. or ideas, anything that, that you, you want to see. You might want to see. Uh, maybe you've seen something like this done before and you've got some recommendations. I mean, you know, this is like we said, this is our first time to do a big tournament like this. Um, and we're going to be. <laughs> we haven't even done one before and we're going to reinvent the wheel. So. <laughs> In typical FCG style, yeah. we're just going to take a swing at it and hope for the best. So, yeah. Uh, leave a comment. Um, tell us what you think. See? Looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. As always. See you soon. Bye, guys. See you soon.